Hey there, and welcome. I got myself a retro game treasure box, and um, I've seen some bad ones, I've seen some good ones, and I saw this on Facebook, and I decided to get myself one. And they go for $35 a month, which is really steep for this type of thing, for three to five games a month. However, I did cancel after the first month. I only wanted one. My problem with this service is that they they don't have a button to cancel. They have they have you have to email them and tell them that you no longer want a box. And they were very nice about it. There was no obligation to stay. They just said, "Okay, you'll know what one. Have a box and enjoy it." And it said, "Uh, thank you for your subscription. That's awfully nice of them. It's a really cute box. I, I like it a lot. It's got some." Reference to Zelda on the side. I think I will keep the box, but um, I wish there was a button to just end your subscription. Uh, if my subscription still renews after even after they've told me that it's over, there's going to be some pr issues. But for now, it's everything's okay. Let's see what games I got. Ooh, off the bat, good start. Ooh, that's really cool. Really cool right off the bat. Ninja Gaiden Black. I like that a lot. Because I love the Ninja Gaiden games. I uh, I have the original one on Xbox. So this goes right with it. And. Ah, that's really cool. <laughs> I actually kind of wanted this game. The Avatar The Last Airbender. So far. So good. Not $35 good. But pretty good. Ooh. Okay, this is the last game, but that's really good. PSP RPG game, Fantasy Star Portable. I never played a Fantasy Star game, but that's rad. I, um, that's really nice. So I got the lower end, I got three games, but they're really nice three games. I think... Let me see how much this goes for. I know RPGs sell for a lot of money. I'm not planning on reselling it. But that was really generous of them to give me an RPG on my first box. Fantasy Star Portable. Okay, so not much for... Okay, so it's a $10 game. So that's not bad. Here's some more of inside the box. Uh, post your treasures, picks, and earn extra entries in our boss chest giveaways. I bet those are cool. We guarantee your games arrive working. Just email us if you have any issues. Stay retro, Buck the Mega Buck. He's the guy who emails you. And he comes with a little card. Okay, so it's a digital subscription to that magazine. So not bad. Not not $35 good, but not bad. I wish I got some more retro games. These are mid-2000s. Nothing too old. No NES games. No Dreamcast games like I've seen before. I've seen some people got like imported PS1 games, which would have been awesome. But... That's better than I expected, to be honest. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It's not that long of a video, but it's a nice little unboxing, nice little thing.